Welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be fitting a baffled sump to the Lotus. Reason being is that the 2ZZ engine can get oil starvation on a long right hand bend on track. So I like a track day and I don't want that for the engine. So here we go. We're going to jump into the video on how to do it yourself. Okay, so we got the trays off and as you can see around here and a couple of other areas, it's just damp with oil. And that is because it's been weeping out somewhere on the engine. Now, it was all over the place. I've wiped a lot of it off. I'm going to brake clean, to get the belt off and take some brake cleaner to it to really clean it up and find out where it's coming from. But yeah, we've got a sweat or a leak, depending on how you look at it, really. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of what we've got going on here. So got the trays off to fit a sump, uh, a baffled sump, and we've got another issue. So we'll get it up, the belt off, clean it all up, find out where the leak's coming from. Uh, potentially might have to run it up, take it for a drive, you know, get the oil going about a bit. Um, just to see if we can find where or what is the culprit. Okay, so after we found that leak, what we've done is we've cleaned all the block off with brake cleaner. Um, I'm just going to mop this bit out here because it's a bit damp still. But hey, so we're going to put the new sump on today anyway and see how that goes. Uh, it's look, it looks really good. Let's have a little look at it. I'll bring the camera out. Oh. So here is the sump with the sealant from Elise Parts. So yeah, I think it's really tidy actually. I like the tin work. I think it's very simple. Um, a lot of these other sumps you see, they're, they're beautifully TIG welded on the outside and everything. And um, you know, have extra capacity. But for me, to be perfectly honest with you, I just feel that actually, I look at those door hinges that they use to allow the oil, they're basically like a door hinge without any holes. I just think they just look naff, to be honest. Whereas this has got a proper deflector in there and this stops it going out too far. It also has this, these ridges on to you know, guide it and keep it in. I think it, you know, I think it looks quite smart. So yeah, and also it's half the price. It is a proper Toyota engine sump and basically someone's spent the time to make this baffle uh, that goes in here. So we'll see how it goes and uh, yeah. Hopefully no leaks first time round, but we'll get it on, take it for a drive, and we'll uh, hopefully see no leaks and maybe potentially where the leak is coming from either the timing casing or the crank pulley. You know, who knows? We'll see. Let's get it. Let's get it put on there. Okay, so now we're going to drain the oil out. Make sure we tidy up any of those drips and then once all the oil is out we'll start taking all of the bolts out, putting them all together to one side, making sure we don't lose any. Oh, by the way, if you don't have a battery ratchet you need to get one. It's such a time saver. Okay, so when levering off the sump, please be careful. The block is aluminium, it's soft, so be very steady with it. Okay, so sump is off and it came off all right in the end. There's just got a couple of little marks because getting lever bars in there, just got to make sure they're smoothed off and just get like sand them back a bit. Uh, and before that, we'll scrape all of this mastic off. But no, it all looks pretty clean in there. You know, it's nice and golden. Um, you know, this, it was only serviced 900 miles ago, I think. 
so before I bought it and I've done 400 of those so anyway get all of this scraped off um, and then we'll get the new mastic onto the new sump and get it bolted back on but yeah just check all the threads are clean on these studs here um, because they're a little bit reluctant to come off but this should be all good with a little bit of a clean up Okay, so now you can see I'm cleaning it up and I'm being ever so gentle with it, going at it bit by bit, just taking my time to make sure that every bit of sealant is taken off with a gasket scraper and I also do use a razor blade in other places. Okay, so, uh, shift a couple of tools, give this a good wipe, some residual drips on the floor, and then the sump is all masticed up, ready to go. And then uh, all the bolts have got a little drop of Lock tight on. Okay, so when putting the sump back on, just make sure that you put it up nice and steady so that you don't smear any of the sealant that you put on and tighten up all your bolts evenly by hand, making sure that they're all located, then you'll go into torquing them. Time to get the under trays back on. Nice and simple, have all your bolts ready to go and when the under trays back on, you're ready to roll. Just another little bit of advice is to put all of your bolts in and your under trays loosely to make sure that they're all aligned before tightening them all up. 
that's that thanks for watching another video please like and subscribe see you at the next one